Part three, we're gonna do the spindles on the top, very similar to part two, except this time we're gonna make a circle. So I'm gonna get you my circle tool. I'm gonna to draw a circle right here. And just like we did under here, we made these components. I'm gonna make this a component separate from this piece by triple clicking, right clicking, and making it a component. Okay, I created it, that's now a component. I can use the move tool just like I did. If I hit control, it'll copy it, but we don't want to do that. We're going to do it different. So it's going to move what you have selected. So I don't have anything selected right now. Whatever I'm hovering over moves. We're going to change that, get my selection tool, click. Instead of the move tool, I'm going to use the rotate tool, which is this guy right here. Again, if you hover over it, it shows you rotate. The rotate tool is a little different. I'm going to come down here and find the middle. It pops up and says midpoint. I'm going to click there. You can click anywhere you want. You don't have to click on this. But So if I click right here, you'll notice it rotates it around this point down here. But it's not copying. How do we make it copy? Same way we did with the legs. We hit control. Here's the cool part about this. If we notice down here, we, it's measuring the angle for us. So there's zero. To the end is 57.2 degrees. So I'm going to find where I want the last one to go. I'm going to click and I'm going to take my hand off of the mouse. Don't touch the mouse. We don't want that angle down here to change. So I'm going to click. I'm not touching the mouse. It says my angle is 58 degrees. I think I want, oh, I want five spindles. So I'm going to divide that angle by 58. That's done. If you look at the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to type slash five, enter. And it just gave me five spindles. And it spread them out equally. All of them are the same. We can choose one. We can pull it up. Whoops, pull it up. Again, we don't hold the mouse button down. They're all the same. Okay, one more time. Let me show you that. I know that's confusing. So here's one more go at it. I'm gonna undo and all right, we just have one. Now, if you get the rotate tool first, this is a common mistake. That's not what we wanna have happen. You have to select it first, not double click. We don't wanna edit. We click on it once so it's selected. Get our rotate tool. Midpoint, click, control to copy, click, and then we type slash, that's the symbol for divide, divide, five, enter. Get our selection tool, double click any of them, push, pull, pull that up wherever you want it. Okay, that's how we do the spindles.